Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if I didn't record my intro all the way or if I went back and deleted it, but I went back and it's not there. So this is now my intro, hello. In this video, I basically recorded all of my jeans. I also found all the links for you guys except for the vintage one. Also, some exciting news for me, finally got my blog up. So that means for you guys, it's gonna make it a lot easier in the future and for this video when you are finding links you will be able to just go in the link in the, the, the description box. I have a blog post of all the jeans that I'm talking about and I link them with pictures. So you don't have to find and read the words and click the link. You just click this one link, look for what jeans you're looking for and there will be a picture there. I'm actually working on the links for you guys right now. With that being said, some of these are affiliate links, some of them, not all of them. But that means that if you do choose to use my links, which if you do, I greatly appreciate it, but you don't have to. But if you do, that means I get a small commission. While you guys are there, check out my blog, it's new. Since you guys are here though, I wanna tell y'all, don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, if you find it helpful, or if you just like to listen to me talk. Not likely, but just in case. Also, make sure to turn on those post notifications. I am going to be going to two times posting a week. So that means be on the lookout for me on Mondays and Thursdays is when you will see a video from me. And follow your girl on the gram for when I'm not on YouTube. All right, let's get to it. Oh yeah, also before I start, let me say my measurements. So I am dead even, five foot five, three fourths, 117 pounds, 25 waist, 35 hips. Those are my measurements, just in case you guys are trying to go based off of that. Okay, so we are gonna film these in front of the mirror because I just feel like while I have everything on, it's just the easiest to explain the jeans and the fit. I okay, don't mind my tripod in the background because I'm like trying to film a TikTok of these at the same time so these first jeans there's no particular order besides these but these first jeans are just some jeans that i got from boohoo while i was still in college actually from the tall section i was really worried that they wouldn't fit me because i'm not quote unquote tall but i actually like them now because baggy jeans are in and that's just how they naturally are sorry for my toes they have like the raw hem at the bottom they're also very comfy i definitely like grab gravitate towards these a lot more than my other jeans yeah little medium wash color very cute these are definitely a staple in my closet they are very comfy it took me a while to be able to get these because they're always out of stock but they're always like coming back in stock too they're like a high-waisted kind of baggy jean I would say they're like the perfect amount for when you don't want to go too baggy but they're very comfy they are from PacSun you can see they have a lot of distressing on them like on the knees and even in the like upper areas but there are pockets to cover it up it's just my pockets kind of tucked up right now I actually love this shade of denim when I go to the back it's very relaxed it's not tight fitting but it does come in like under your butt so you not left like hanging back there it's giving you like a little bit of shape it's like more of a straight leg type of fit these are definitely a go-to like casual outfit jean right here are arguably maybe like if they're not my favorite they're like top two in my closet you see me wear them a lot they are actually from zara i believe i actually sized down and not because i couldn't fit my actual size it was because I was desperate and this is the only one that they had in there. But I was able to like get in them still and they're not uncomfortable. And they were actually able to stretch like just enough so they fit me good. I love these because they are very, very fitted all the way down until we get to down here. And then as you can see when we get down here, they kind of flare out with the split hem. They also have a raw hem that is super cute and the wash on these jeans is like just absolutely perfect zara jeans are good like they fit me personally very well so whenever i see some that i like i have to get them asap okay so these are some of my newer jeans you guys have definitely seen these in my recent videos a pair of like standout jeans in my jean collection the top part of the jeans it's like an asymmetrical hem it's not even clearly they are very very long and baggy i'm thinking about going to get them fixed up but then I'm also kind of like, is that going to take away from them? But I have on like platform Uggs right now. So if I put on like sneakers, that is going to be a problem. Definitely a more like solid blue wash. And they're very like wide at the bottom. And let me also show you the back of them. 
so as you can see the pockets are kind of like janky too but like in a really cute way but yeah i just think they're a really interesting piece to add to my collection i don't know if they're gonna be in stock i'll look but i also like the little emblem on them so yeah these are one of my wide leg jeans and they fit pretty good minus the length okay so these jeans are like a bit of a wild card these are zara jeans as well they have some distressing at the bottom clearly which i need to cut a little bit i actually really like raw hems a lot so the way that they're cut they're supposed to like stop like right where your ankles stop i kind of feel like jesse from toy story a little bit because of that but i think they're they were really cute for summer but then they'd still give leeway for my butt like very comfortable and these jeans are actually in my size but yeah these are really cute so i definitely wanted to do these back to back to back so you could see the difference in like how they fit these are another pair of zara jeans in a very bright like lemon yellow these are way longer than those last ones i showed you pretty much will touch the ground if you have on shoes so they're more of a baggy fit but they do come in in the waist if you guys watched my fall trends video, I mentioned this color to be actually a huge fall trend. So if you're not willing to go for like the last jeans that I had, this is a great way to give yourself like a pop of color without going like as crazy as adding those flowers in your closet. These jeans fit me really nicely as well. They are very, very comfortable and you guys will still be seeing them this winter probably like a black trench coat okay so next we have these um i never wear these but i mean they are technically part of my collection and it's funny that i never wear them because if you have been following me since the beginning um i used to tear these jeans Ugh. not quite skinny they're a little wide at the bottom they are raw hem they fit good like at the top like i'd love to get some more jeans like this but just obviously like some uh, not so tight at the bottom. But they make my butt look really good is what I actually really used to like about them. And they also have a really nice wash. This is like one of the best washes and types of jeans you can get from Levi's. So these are like the Levi 501s. The only thing with them is they don't stretch like at all because they're like 100% cotton. Yeah, these are my leaf. Okay, so this is definitely a color that I have not shown you guys. And I know a lot of people will not be fans because these are like really low. But they're only low on me because these are oversized jeans. And they are actually jeans I got from the men's section. They are Wrangler jeans. And these are kind of more of like a dark medium wash like not quite dark but like on the darker side i did diy these jeans myself and i'm just gonna get a close-up just in case it's something you wanted to do i messed up a little bit but the point was i wanted them to like open up they're men's jeans they are regular just really cute for like street style or when i just want to throw on like a crop top and do like kind of low waisted with sneakers right, so, so these yeah. next jeans were finally to a lighter pair of jeans these same jeans as the ones i showed earlier these are pack sun as well uh, they fit me the exact same way like they're just kind of more fitted in the waist and hugging but then they get comfy like around like the hips and the butt part uh, the rips are different though so like the rip is like really extreme I did not touch these this is just how they came but yeah they fit really good and they are very comfy and cute at the same time make my booty look good a little bit I mean I'm just saying I would recommend though if you are going for like a more baggy look like don't be afraid to size up because they will still be pretty good fitting in the waist if I was to get these same jeans again I'd probably size up but if you like this look then you can just go with your direct size so these jeans are like some black cargo type jeans I did not expect to like these jeans but I actually really do like them they fit me really well I did get like true to size and they are actually from Shein which is like why I did not expect to like these jeans but they are actually really good quality very heavy I think they actually are 100% cotton and so like they're not like a solid black wash but they're more like kind of like a black gray if you can tell on the sides they have like this little pocket detail that does work but yeah very good again for like a street style type look if that's what you're looking for and definitely like with us going into fall and winter these are definitely like some good jeans to get if you are on like a really tight budget okay next up we have some really super light wash jeans these are literally the definition of mom jeans no holes or anything and i just have them rolled up at the bottom they're not like that they're kind of long on me but they're very comfy they're mostly cotton i don't think they're fully so i guess that's why they're kind of extra comfy and these are actually 
uh, the brand Liz Wear by Liz Claiborne it's our vintage jeans I don't really wear these often but like probably only when it's like cold outside because obviously when it's freezing you don't really want to walk around with holes in your pants but yeah they're very cute still I do kind of wish they were a little bigger but I do really like the wash of them. Okay, so these are another pair of jeans that I really didn't expect to like, but I did. We're back to like the baggy type of jeans. Uh, I believe these are 100% cotton as well, so there's no stretch, but they're very comfy because they are supposed to be baggy. I know a lot of people like say on my channel they don't really like baggy. I prefer it because of like my frame. I have a very thin frame, so I just don't want to look thin all the way down. I tend to wear things that make me like bigger at the bottom if that makes sense. Again, I was surprised to like them because they are actually from Fashion Nova from like a collab a long time ago. But again, they look pretty decent in the butt. They're not the greatest because they don't really cup right here or anything. And then there's a little bit of a light wash like down the middle. But I think this is from Fashion Nova's like vintage line. And when, when I say vintage, I really mean like replicas of vintage because obviously like these are not vintage is like split him i'm not really sure if that's a thing anymore but it's a thing for me in my closet wear what you're comfortable okay, in so i'm really excited about these jeans these are definitely a favorite of mine i feel like i don't wear them enough well at least on here they're just not the type of jeans that you can wear every day but i clearly got them for what they say on the front they say it's expensive and your girl is it's I love how they fit uh, minus in the waist they are a little big and I did get the smallest size which I think was a 25 and they did end up being like a little big in the back they are made by like a black owned artist slash brand they source these pants vintage and make them themselves you basically just put in your sizing info and yeah they'll send you these jeans uh, they're 100% cotton and they kind of have like a I guess like a straight leg look to them. the only thing if you do order from them just know you got to be patient it's gonna take a long time and they tell you that but yeah no stretch at all but I think the quality is amazing and they definitely are a really good statement jean like when you just trying to cut those so these are straight black jeans they're a little stretchy so not 100% cotton I'm embarrassed to say that I bought these at the beginning of this year and have never worn these jeans. Urban Outfitters, these are from their BDG line. They do have like a little red stitching right here. Um, they are pretty comfortable. The way that I wear these though is like with socks and sneakers. These are the I wanna show off my shoes uh, type of pants or even like if I wanna wear boots because if you're wearing baggy jeans all the time, you cannot show your shoes, ain't nobody gonna see them. So yeah, these are definitely what that is for. They're comfy. I'll try to wear them this year. We'll, we gonna see. Okay, another pair of black jeans. These are men's jeans also, but they are Levi's. Um, but that is why they are so low because obviously men, they ain't out here wearing high-waisted pants like that. Not most of them. The men's versions of 501s. So similar, but uh, definitely lower waist. They have like copper. I was gonna tell you that they make, they make my booty look flat, but I don't know why she's trying to cake today. She's trying to act out or whatever. Yeah, sometimes I just like a more relaxed fit and men's jeans just give me that. Lower, but definitely more relaxed. And I like the color on them. So go ahead and welcome the oldest jeans in my closet. These are another pair of Levi jeans. I don't know if you guys remember that phase where everybody was going through. Like, you, if you bought jeans, they were Levi. So I have quite a few. I'm kind of liking these. Why have I not worn these? A lot of people say like wearing big holes in jeans is like not classy. I don't care. I DIY'd these jeans as well. I've had these jeans since like 9th or 10th grade. Yeah, this is how they fit. So they had the Levi's tab right here again. And I'm not even sure what model these are because these are vintage and they're just older. And when Levi jeans are just more worn, they are definitely more comfortable. And obviously since they're baggy, they don't like constrain me or anything. So but. these jeans, you can see they're very high and that's kind of the point of them. Uh, again, I bought these jeans when I was in college. These are called the Levi ribcage jeans. And the point of the ribcage is they go up to your ribcage. So yeah, they're very retro, very like 70s like. I think I actually went up a size because I wanted them to be baggy. It was kind of a mistake because they're a little big right here, but they do still go in anyways. I just personally know 
that they're big right here but they are comfortable i got dark wash they do have a lighter wash probably one of the most expensive jeans that i bought um i don't know why i bought them i was broke i didn't have any money and if you are still interested in your jeans going like all the way up here then yeah that is a thing i kind of prefer them to go here now it's just more comfortable but these jeans are not uncomfortable by any means okay and these jeans right here so say hello to the second oldest pair of jeans in my closet so they are the perfect shade of like light blue not too light not too dark literally my favorite shade of denim they are 100% cotton as well and they are true mom jeans um, I do have them rolled up because they are a little long the only thing I don't like about them is they get, make my butt look a little like wide but like not in a good way like not thick just just wide for no reason which I guess is the point of a mom jean these are by the brand chick jeans so these are vintage but uh, chick jeans are very easy to find I feel like these are probably like the highest rise jeans I have besides the ribcage jeans they don't fit me all the way but I really don't want them to yeah. these were somebody's mama's jeans like in the 90s I still wear them actually these are probably the only mom jeans that I really like stick to nowadays all right y'all well that is the last pair of jeans don't forget to check out all of the links if you were interested in getting any of them in the link in the description box i have everything listed with nice pretty pictures i hope you guys like the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications instagram all of that but thank you so much for watching love you the mostest